we have a physics problem here. We're given a velocity and we want to know its position. So we need to find the antiderivative of velocity. Uh, now we want the position function right here and we're given one initial condition. So we're going to integrate our velocity and that'll be uh, f of t. All right, let's go ahead and write this sine wt cosine to the 6 wt dt. Now we're going to, you need a u sub and what we're going to do is go to the textbook here. We're in 3.2. Uh, this is the problem solving strategy for tangent secant. And we're going to scroll up. I already know it's about eight pages scrolling up or so. So here's a sine and cosine. Now, k is the exponent of sine. If k is odd, then you're in number one. If j is odd, we're in number two. And if you're they're both even, you're gonna have quite a bit more work to do. You need to use this uh, half angle formula, which is uh, some algebra. Luckily, both, or no, one of ours is odd, so we're gonna look back. We have an odd sine. You could write that as sine to the first power, but of course, never write a first power in calculus. But our sine is odd, so let's go back one more time. So our sine is odd, so k is odd, uh, so we're on step one. So we're going to rewrite signs. Uh, we're going to pull out an even number of signs, which for us, because k is one, we actually are not doing any of these, pulling out the signs. And we're going to use the identity. Uh, and again, our k is one, so k minus one is zero. So we don't have to do this step. Uh, so we're just going to do a u sub u equals cos x. Now, of course, we don't just have cos x, we have cos w, well, it said x, but our variable's t, so it's cosine of w t. Now, how do I know t is the uh, derivative here? Because it's dt, not dw. So we have a t derivative. So du equals, cosine is sine w t, derivative w t is w, dt. Now there's no w hanging out over here, so we're going to divide our 1 over w to the other side. Okay, so we got sine wt dt. That's perfectly set up for that right side. And we're left with the constant out front, 1 over w integral. This cosine wt is u, but of course it's u to the sixth power. du, anti-power rule. So it's u to the seventh over seven plus a constant. And that is one over seven w cosine to the seventh. unsubstituting here plus constant and this is f of t now we're going to use the initial condition luckily both the input and output are zero so this won't be so bad f of zero i'm just plugging in uh, make sure zero is going in for t not for w so we have cosine the seventh of w times zero is zero plus c and up at the top they said this was equal to zero so that's where that zero came from all right cosine of zero is one one to the seventh power plus constant one of the seventh power is just one so we got zero equals one over seven w plus c we can subtract one over seven w is our constant and then we're just going to plug that back in minus 1 over 7w and that is our f of t function.